What's going on everybody? I'm Blitz5 and in today's video I'm going to be going over some of the most common callouts in PUBG. Now this is going to be mostly building specific but I am going to be going over some of the important locations on the map or points of interest and I just want to preface this video by saying that this is by no means a competitive callout guide for PUBG at all. I play on the Xbox One, so I wanted to cater this video for console players because we got crossplay coming soon. There might be some new players out there, and I've also been getting a lot of questions in my stream and in some of my videos about the callouts that I use. And I'm by no means a professional player or competitive player. I just use a lot of callouts. I've been playing the game for a while. And shout out to somewhere P30 who recommended that I make a video like this. And again, obviously the versions are pretty much all the same across PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 4. So hopefully this will be helpful for anybody out there. But this is just going to be a general overview for. Some some common call outs again. So I figured the best place to get started is on Erangal. This is the original OG first map in the game. And we're currently at the most famous or I guess arguably the most famous city in Erangal, maybe in the game. And this is Pochinki straight out of Pochinki. It's in the center of the map which I feel like makes it one of the most famous cities. You could say that or Rozak. And this is a common hot drop for a lot of people in the game. So I think Pachinki is the most famous. You guys can let me know down in the comments what you think. And this is a great city because there's so many different buildings. So this is a great place to start out and go over some of the common callouts. And one of the first things that I want to say before we get into the actual buildings themselves is that when you don't know a callout, and I don't have a callout for all of the buildings and all the places in this game. I don't think anybody really does or how could you remember for every single individual building that the best thing you can do is just be overly descriptive when you're describing where an enemy player is to your team. So for example, if an enemy player is in this house, you could say they're at the two-story house. It's got the blue roof. It has whatever color this is, kind of like seafoam green. You want to say it faster than that, though. So you could say two-story, blue roof, doors are open, and it's got the red flag next to the road. You can even drop out the red flag and say two-story building next to the road at the bottom of Pachinki. Or you could say, yeah, this is at the south side of Pachinki next to the road, blue roof. And something like that can really help your teammates understand where this building is because there's so many two-story buildings. And also, my favorite thing to do is I really encourage this is just to zoom in on the map and actually place a marker where the enemy player is and say there's an enemy on my marker on the second story. So then there's no confusion at all. Someone might think that this is the south side of the map, two-story building, and that has like just out of the nowhere it has a blue roof as well if you didn't know that and there's confusion so putting the marker down is the best thing to do it takes a little while but when you get used to zooming in and doing this it is so helpful and so descriptive for your team because nothing's more accurate to me than the marker in the game so going back to the beginning of pachinki here it's great let's go uh fly over to this building this is a great way to start this is a very common structure in pubg this is what i first learned as the pillbox looks like a pillbox, but a lot of people call this sniper tower or wizard tower. You see this structure with a slight variant all across Erangel. And a lot of people, you know, maybe you'll hide here at the end game. There's not great loot here, so it's not something you would like desire to go. But a lot of people end up going here because there's just no cover in the field in the end game. So you definitely want to know this call out sniper tower, wizard tower, Harry Potter tower, whatever people say nowadays. Uh, those are the most common ones. Then you have the famous shit shack it's the shed in the game i think people call this the shit shack maybe because it looks like an outhouse i just call it the shed but this is just such a famous structure in the game because they're usually out in the middle of nowhere and a lot of times you have a person hiding in there or i'll be hiding in there at the end of the circle uh trying to use it as an advantage then this is where we get a little tricky there's a lot of these little structures in the game i call this a guard booth uh there's also this wooden structure over here that i call like the wooden guard tower these i don't think are like professional call outs i just kind of use these with my friends so again if you create a call out with your friends, you know, just make sure everybody understands what that means and then be consistent with your buddies. It could spread to other people, but know that other people might not know what that call out is. But as long as your teammates know, that's the most important thing. So um, and, and in real all reality, these structures are pretty small and usually there aren't people like hiding in here. So I don't know how important that call out is, but just as a uh, recommendation, then this is what some people call grandma's house. I'm definitely open for another call out for this, but I haven't heard anybody say differently. And this is a one story building with the wooden attic. So that's usually how I just described it in the past because there's not many buildings that look like this or have this small wooden attic. And really this building, again, doesn't have great loot. There's really no purpose to go here unless you're just dropping off the bat. But if there is an enemy there, you can say they're at grandma's house. Then this is a really easy call out. This is a one story building with a satellite on top. So people just call this satellite or you could call this satellite house. Uh, there you go, little satellite. And this usually is a good spot, has some decent loot off the bat. 
then this is where we start to get kind of tricky here because there's a lot of two-story buildings in the game. So some people call this duplex. Some people call this mansion. I really just call these all two-story and then I mark them or be descriptive about them. But the reason why some people call this mansion is because it's just a really big two-story house. And this is a smaller version of that, kind of almost cut in half or you know maybe um, two-thirds of that building. So you could call this whatever you want as long as your friends kind of understand, but they're all sort of different variants of houses. Then you have a different version of a shed here. I don't know a specific call out for this one. I just call it shed as well. And then this building is a good one. I didn't have a call out until I got ready to record this video. A lot of people call this market. And if you look, it kind of makes sense because there's a lot of little shops here, maybe bodegas you could call them at the bottom of this building. So I feel like it's a great building to call market. Then zooming around a lot of the same buildings here, you see wizard tower. This is what people would call a three stack building here. And again, when you see, you know, a one story, they might call it one stack, two story, two stack, three stack is three story building. So it's really easy to call this one out. There's a couple of them in Pachinki. So you would say, hey, they're in the three stack building, the red one, and they're on the roof or they're on the three st uh, third story. They might say tier two, tier three, tier one, or T1, T2, or floor one, floor two, F2, uh, however people call it out in the shortest way possible. But again, you just want to be consistent and also be as clear as you can when you're saying that. And that's a really easy way to call out someone being there. And I feel like a lot of people like going to these three stacks because the roof gives you access to the other the roofs in the uh, area of Pachinki. This is a house with a detached garage. So you would just say house and then garage separately because on the flip side, we have the garage house. This is very common building in Erangel and a lot of people like to go to these as well. Usually decent loot and then just good sight lines you can get on the roof of the garage and stuff like that. So garage house because there's literally a garage and a house. Then flying to the top of this, this is a really easy one. I've heard people say other things, but I just call this church and I feel like keep it simple, cathedral, whatever, church is faster to say. Um, so there you go, there's church. And then going back down into Erangel, a lot of the same buildings. This is a tough one. We got an easy one over there, satellite, but this building is tough. I don't have a great call for this. When I Googled it, it looks like some people called this double awning, but in all honesty, I didn't have a common call out for this building at all. Me and my friends really don't have a great descriptive for that, descriptive uh, definition or call out. So we're gonna fly across the field here, a little slow. This is a building that is very common on the outskirts of Erangel and uh, in some fields. This is just called barn house. A lot of people like to go here, decent loot, and people like to also uh, kind of hang on the second story of this building. Go up here and you kind of look out these windows to some nice sight lines. And I feel like this is a pretty easy one because it does look sort of like a barn. So there you go, barn house. And then let's uh, flip over to, we're gonna go kind of far away here. We're gonna go to military base, which is actually where my character is at right now. So let's go visit him. We'll fly over here and let everything load in. So we're at military base, and this is one of the easiest call-outs to remember in the game. This is C block, and the reason why this is called C block is because it is in the shape of a C, and you can see that by zooming in on the map. There you go, here's a C. And obviously the military base is a very popular place for people to land, I feel like less so recently, but this is a famous hot drop alongside Pachinki. Then this has some different names. I call this just radio tower, radio antenna, radio antenna. I think this isn't a radio. I think this might be uh, radar, but just commonly people call it antenna. So just important to know. We got C block. Then we have a lot of buildings in military base that I don't have a name for or that aren't really common, commonly named. This is a statue. So I'm going to go over to the ones that are. And hopefully, as we all play more, including myself, we can get better names for some of these buildings. This is called... Um, industrial or industrial warehouse or industry uh, because it's got the smokestacks and it just looks like some industrial stuff is going on here. This a lot of people call a uh, garage, but there's a lot of other garages. So some people call this workshop because it looks like a little workshop in here or a little garage. This is all over uh, military base. And then this is a really easy one because this is literally air traffic control. So people call this ATC or air traffic control. Got a little tower up here. I've actually never been in this building. I have to go check it out in game. I just never really go up the stairs there. We got some missile silos. And then you can just use what the items actually are. You know, the down planes, the missiles, the silos, the bunker over there. And uh, you can use those just to your advantage. And again, just mark places for people to understand. And then let's look at the map. So let's just zoom out. Let's go to a random complex. So now knowing the call outs, let's go here. And we're at this random compound at the back of... Erangel. I feel like this is a good place to land because nobody really goes here. So we got the double awning. We got satellite. 
one story house and then the double barn buildings and then the shit shack and that covers all the buildings that are in this compound so you could quickly call out where people are if another team landed here with your team or say uh, duos or, or solos whatever um so then zooming out let's go to we got milta farm prison shelter let's go here to the this is what i call the warehouse of death let it load in it's just called giant warehouse I like calling the warehouse of death. Again, uh, that's commonly used in my friend group, but a lot of people use that now. And you can kind of come up with a different name for yourself. But definitely a good place to have a call it because this, alongside that compound, are kind of in the middle of nowhere. And a uh, nice place to go. It used to be a death spot because not a lot of cover, but now it's in Aaron Gall Remastered. They put a lot of stuff outside the warehouse. Then I saw a competitive player call this the Alamo building. Hope I have this correct. I never had a call out for this, but I think it's called the Alamo because it's literally by itself in the middle of nowhere. And uh, once you get here, you can kind of just defend the walls. So it's a funny name for that. Let's move over to this compound here. So this compound, when I first started playing PUBG, I would land here because I thought it was a safe place that wasn't popular and became one of my favorite places to land. Some people call this the J compound because it looks like a J. And this is a great place to go because you're at an intersection here. You get a lot of people driving by and it's in the center of the map. So then at the J compound, there's this structure that you're going to see a few times in Erangel. It's right here. Some people call this the glass building because there's so much glass here. So many sight lines that you can see out of in this building. Also, there's some kind of market or vendor going on down here. So I've also heard people call this the vendor building and it's got two parts to it. So we got the two story vendor, one story vendor. Again, you could probably use a better call out because a lot of people are usually hiding in this second story. And if you have one, you can leave it down in the comments below. Then from the J compound, I'm going to head over to Gaka. So we're over here. We'll let this load. Gaka is a pretty common spot. Above Gaka, we have Mount Gaka, but a lot of people call this Everest. I don't often go up there, but players do. So it's probably a good call out that you should know. We'll go to the top of there just for fun. Get a great overview of the map. If you've got an eight time scope or a 15 time scope, this is obviously a great place to go. And then there's a lot of areas on the map, like right here, that don't have a name. So this, this compound doesn't have a name at all. And I'm sure competitive teams have callouts for all of these locations and probably good to know at some point. But really, if you're playing with the same group of friends, you can kind of create little names up for these places. So I call this fake Gaka or little Gaka because it's below Gaka. I think little Gaka is probably a better name. I call it fake Gaka because I thought this was Gaka for a long time when I first started playing the game or actually not that not that long ago. Uh, I got confused and thought that this was Gaka or this whole thing was Gaka, which it kind of is, right? So we like to call it jokingly fake Gaka now. And then I was watching a professional game the other day. Never had a name for this structure in the ground. These uh, almost like a sewer tunnel. And people call this chopsticks. And that is a professional call out that I learned just recently. And if you watch the professional esports, you can learn a lot of the call outs that way uh, from the commentators who are commentating over PUBG. So then I just got a couple more common ones that I want to go over. So we'll head over to Georgia Pole because there's a lot of different structures here and we'll wait for everything to load in. This is a big part of the map that I personally don't like going to because I just think there's so many buildings that it is hard to call things out. So this structure right here, another common building in PUBG, commonly found in the big cities, Georgia Pole, Yasnaya, called apartments. And usually they're stacked in threes or sixes. So you could come up with some kind of naming phrase like one two three a b c or uh, left middle right and then you could also say that individually when you're inside the building because when you go in you either go left or right so like the west wing or the east wing and then you could say first floor second floor third floor or the roof some of them don't have roof access it looks like all of these do but this is my least favorite building to go into the game i feel like it takes a long time to loot People could be hiding anywhere so many little closets doorways small corridors that you can just get camped and killed out of the blue, especially like in uh, solo. So I just stay away from these, but if you must go in there, you should know the call out. And then going from there, we have a lot of these different warehouses in the game, different colors. They just got updated in the remastered. Some people call these hangers, but I call all of these just warehouses. Some of them look different, but if your team is in the same area, they'll probably know what they're talking about. You just say how many warehouses there are. And again, use the best descriptive words you can to say which one it's at or mark it. But I think you're safe to call these warehouses or hangers anywhere in Erangel.
Then another area of the map, this is an area that's not super popular, but it's one of my favorite places to go because I love to roadblock and I love uh, Fairy Pier. So down here we got, this is what we call the 12 stack. And the reason why we call it the 12 stack is because there's six main buildings. There's more than six, so 12 isn't really being accurate, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 main buildings. And then there's like the two side buildings. So if you have a different name for this, that's fine. But we just call this 12 stack. A lot of people probably called this maybe... Uh, yellow because previously these compounds were yellow but now they're blue i like the 12 stack it's a quick way to just remember this area and uh, this is a great place to go and just hit all these buildings and get some good loot then across from here ferry pier is down the way we got gas station those are easy to call out just all the gas stations in the map this is an easy one lighthouse because of the actual lighthouse that's on the map some people go up here to kind of patrol the bridge a little bit and I guess when we were talking about yellows, I should head over to an actual building that was called yellow. So we'll go outside of ruins. So any of these compounds before were just called yellows because again, they were all yellow buildings. Now they're changed to blue. So maybe people will call them blue or honestly, this could be one of those things where the community just continues to call them yellow, even though they're not. And it would kind of become a grandfathered name to the area. And then while we're here, uh, this is ruins. I feel like not that many people go here. This area doesn't have a name, but it's just called Watertown. But I feel like you could just kind of come to that conclusion on your own there because it's a town in the water. And you could probably keep going from building to building to compound to compound to area to area coming up with com with callouts. But I feel like this is a great overview of what's going on here outside of the different named areas. You know, and the popular ones, Pachinki. Military, we went over compounds that you're going to find at a lot of common uh, buildings. You're going to find at a lot of compounds when you just cl click in on something. And I feel like that pretty much does a great job of covering some of the more popular areas in the map. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any great call out ideas, definitely let me know. I'm going to hopefully eventually maybe update this video or do another one for the other maps in the game. It'd be nice to clarify this stuff or maybe even in some kind of other format, not like PowerPoint format, but something where you could kind of see all the different images that are in the game next to a, a good name for it or competitive name. But I feel like this is a good base for any new players out there that are about to start playing PUBG or want to improve their gameplay. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to drop a like or please consider subscribing to my channel i do create a ton of video game content right now a lot of it is focused around PUBG. and if you know somebody that might benefit from this video maybe share the video with them and as always thank you all for watching i'm blitz 5 and peace out